This is Chad with Tippy.com and today I'm going to take a look at Twitter for iPad. Love it or hate it, uh, this is Twitter for iPad. I happen to love it. I think it's great. And my goal here is to briefly just kind of show you some of the interface nuances on how it works. So over here on the left, uh, you can see I have my account. Uh, here's the Tippy account and just another whoosh, another 200 account. So it's very easy to switch between accounts. Now from within each account, you have mentions, lists, messages, profile, and search. So if I tap on my profile, I get my profile, my tweets, my mentions, my favorites, lists that I have, people similar to me, people I'm following, and people following me. So if I tap back on the timeline, very simple, I just flick through as usual, and I'm going to click a plain tweet here. So I have a tweet from Mr. Gilt, one of the friends that I follow. And when I tap it, notice that animation. So I can swipe this kind of off to the side and I'll attach another one here. See, it's pretty slick. What it does is it gives you the tweet and then it gives you the profile information from that person you are following. And then of course you can tap up here and you can reply very quickly. I'm not going to save that. I can start it, retweet it, up top here I can translate and mail and, and your typical stuff. Over here I can do a public reply, do a direct message, so on and so forth. If I wanted to I can tap the photo and get a larger photo, pinch and zoom. Okay. And then when I'm done I can <laughs> swipe off. I love it and I, you can even control the sides here as you move over which I think is really neat. Now if, if you're looking at a tweet that appears to have a reply in it so let me scroll through here, and here we go. Uh, I can tap this here, and you can see the two, sweet, two tweets that were part of this reply. Now if I take two fingers, I can also scroll down to see that reply too. I just take two fingers, and I can scroll down. I think that's pretty slick. You can also look at a profile that way too. I can simply pinch to zoom, and look at that. Did you see that? That's awesome. Look at that animation. Whoa, I think that is super cool. Tap away and it's gone. Over here, if there's a link for a photo, I tap the post, or excuse me, the tweet, and it's going to go ahead and load the photo. Swipe off. Here's another example of a photo. Shows up. Shows me that image. You know, I can even maximize it as needed. Fill the screen very fast, very responsive. Click away. Works the same way for a standard link. If I have one here, uh, let's see as I scroll through my timeline, uh, here's a link for something that looks like is an Apple event, and I tap on that. And it'll come up and link to a website, and again, I can maximize. Show what's on here. I'm not quite sure what that website was, but down here on the bottom right, I can read it later, which will put it into Instapaper, so on and so forth. Uh, really nice to compose up top here. Works really great. I can put into drafts. I can attach media, uh, geotag, or shorten links. But there's no hashtag, no ability to look up a user, which is my biggest disappointment with this app. And my lists, I can't manage my lists. So if I go look at news, I get a great list of news, and I can tap on a post. In this case, this is John Gruber's Daring Fireball. Gives me an awesome link, but I can't. Uh, manage the list. I can't tap on this profile and choose what list I want to put it in. So that's a little disappointing. But other than that, I like the way the app behaves. I like this zooming around stuff with the different layers. I think that's fantastic. And if I go over to timeline, uh, again, I can start to tap uh, and, it, and it opens things up. This is a Foursquare example. It'll go ahead and opens up Foursquare. It lets me know that location. Anyway, I happen to love this app. you got to kind of either take it or leave it. I happen to really like it. And uh, this has been a very uh, quick overview of Twitter for iPad.